Hey guys, even here, and what the hell did we just witness at a Texas Pro 2024? A completely new version of Andrew Jacked just stepped on this freaking stage and really the talk about who's gonna win this show is absolutely unnecessary what we can discuss though is where this version of Andrew Jack is gonna place at the Mr. Olympia is this physique potentially a top three physique in the world is that a possibility I mean after seeing this incredible crazy looking much improved version of andrew jack i think that's definitely open for discussion now as you can see andrew jack absolutely brought conditioning to this show like i was thinking maybe he's gonna go uh, like easy at this show like maybe like 80 or 90 percent and then really sharpen it up for the mr olympia later on because he really didn't have any competition at this show it was his show to to win to dominate but apparently he brought it, like, he definitely brought it, I would say his best conditioning of all time, I would say this is better conditioning than Arnold Classic, and I'm guessing he's around, like, 290 here, if he was 300 pounds, like, with clothes, with shoes, maybe he lost a little bit of water as well overnight, I mean, yeah, he's, he's definitely, like, 290 here, and you can see the improvements, he definitely does look bigger, look at the freaking legs, man, the legs are freaking diced, full of detail, super hard, super, super conditioned, like everything really from the front, the abs are looking phenomenal, there is no bubble gut issue, legs again, super, super shredded, look at the freaking feathers and everything, and they're also pretty big, like they're, they're not small, there are there's some big legs, right, like the doctors are full and everything, um, now, here is what I'm not sure about if we talk about him being top 3 the Mr. Olympia, his side poses, and like from behind, I think his glutes were never disconditioned, and his hamstrings, and his back also looks incredible, like super lean, super dry, super, super hard, like the back poses do look improved, but the side pose, you don't really see the, 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 the thickness that I was talking about that he needs to have in order to go against the, the, the really big guys like Samson, Derek and Hadi. Alright, now let's take a look at the lineup. I found this footage, it's a little bit better than the live stream footage and it's interesting to see a little bit different angle as well. So, you know, against these guys here, this almost, not quite, but almost looks like a pro versus amateurs, really. Because none of these guys are going to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. And Andrew Jack is potentially top 3 at the Mr. Olympia. So there is a huge gap between all these guys and Andrew Jack. Really, this was an easy show. They probably should have like put him on the side and not even compare him to these guys. Because it's really not a comparison. Like He was so much better. It's, it's not even funny. So the conversation of who's going to win this show is absolutely unnecessary. He's winning this uh, quite easily. But the other guys brought it too, especially uh, Jordan Hutchinson, I mean, he's definitely the future, he's definitely one of the guys that is probably going to be winning shows and qualify for the Mr. Olympia in the upcoming years, but uh, doing that at this show, no, no, <laughs> definitely not against this uh, freak of nature right here, Andrew Jack. So, like, in the quarter turns, like, you can see what I'm talking about, especially from the side, in the side poses, for example, right here, side chest, like, he definitely doesn't have crazy density. Like, right here, Jordan Hutchinson actually looks uh, thicker from the side, especially in the lower body. So that was basically the, the, the biggest issue that uh, Andrew Jack used to have, you know, especially hamstrings, like, from the side, li side leg, and also, like, the upper body as well. But I think he maybe can change that with posing a little. I think he's, like, lifting his shoulder up a little bit too much, and he's, like, squeezing his shoulders together. Maybe he can open up more in the upper body, but as far as the legs, I mean, that's something he worked on, apparently. He said that he was focused on improving his hamstrings. How much did he improve them? I think it's visible, especially in the back pose, but, like, from the side, not that much and I said earlier that this almost looks like uh, pros versus amateurs and that's definitely not the case uh, at least here in the side chest and that's why I doubt that Andrew can be a uh, top three but uh, as far as the other poses especially the ones where he's uh, straight on like the back lat spread here I mean take a look at this 
and tell me what do you think. I mean, he's absolutely annihilating these guys. It's not even it's not even a contest really. He's like much bigger. Once again, around 290 on this stage right here with solid conditioning. Yeah, his glutes are not as as ripped and as detailed as the other two guys, uh, Nathan Appler and Jordan Hutchinson. But you know the size of the of the, of the like of the back and like of the lower body as well and everything. Like he's just a much much bigger bodybuilder. Like right here, as you can see, like he's definitely dwarfing these guys, literally. I mean, Jordan Hutchinson is not exactly a smaller bodybuilder. Nathan Appler, yeah, he he kind of is a little bit smaller, but actually they are actually they're much more comparable than anybody in this show to Andrew Jack. Like nobody here stands a chance against this this freaking monster here. And also a very very aesthetic physique, like super tiny waist. You know, crazy X frame, legs are popping, lats are popping, uh, arms are looking really good, like the bicep peaks are crazy. Uh, midsection, once again, the best thing about him, probably, along with like uh, the overall size and really good conditioning at this show, and uh, you know, the, the crazy shape of everything, really. Everything is, you know, pretty much cartoonish. So, yeah, he definitely annihilated all these guys. He, he destroyed this lineup. He's winning Texas Pro handily. I wish he did a bigger show, like Dubai Pro at least, if not the Arnold Classic, to see him like this compared to some other top guys like Hari and Samson to see where he's at, because against these guys we can't really guess anything basically, but I think we can see that he did improve, the question is only did he improve enough to go up in placings. In order for him to go up one place he needs to beat Brandon Curry and also Nick Walker, can he do that? I think I can see him beating uh, Brandon Curry, if he brings this kind of conditioning, he's beating Brandon Curry, but as far as Nick Walker, I don't know, I don't know, he has a much, much better shape, but, you know, the thickness issue from the side especially, it's gonna be exposed, so that's gonna be a good battle, very, very different physiques, I don't know who's gonna place ahead of who, maybe at this point, after seeing what Nick brought to the New York Pro stage, I mean, the gut issue, which is uh, really something the judges are marking guys down for, I think, um, you know, probably it's Andrew Jack, who has a bigger chance, really, I mean, I think Andrew Jack can be top four, I mean, either him or Nick Walker, but I mean, those guys are top five, I'm pretty sure about that, as far as Andrew cracking the top three, beating uh, Samson or Hardy and Derek, Unless they are horribly off, I don't see it happening. No, not yet. He definitely made progress, but not really 20 pounds. Maybe maybe like 7-8 pounds of muscle. I think 10 is probably stretching it a little, so I think like 7-8 pounds, which is also a great gain, definitely great progress, but is it enough You know, to be top 3? I doubt that, honestly. After what I'm seeing here, I don't think so. But uh, if you guys disagree, you can tell me down below. But yeah, overall, a truly, truly incredible, remarkable physique from Andrew Jack, really a fantastic physique, like with those freaking uh, small, small, tiny joints, super small waist, very nice and tight midsection, crazy separation everywhere, in his quads, in his chest, I mean, even in the back as well, like, he brought it for sure, and this is really outstanding, honestly, I I'll be honest, I thought he was gonna be even more improved, I thought, based on that photo we saw, I thought his arms were gonna be like double in size, and I thought he gained like almost 20 pounds of muscle, and he's gonna have that thickness from the side, but, you know, that that's still an issue, that's still an issue, it's a better version of Andrew Jack, but not like a completely different one, so, I think he's, he's gonna stay in the top 5 in a Mr. Olympia, like last year, with the addition of Nick Walker, it's gonna be a battle, it's gonna be a really good battle, a very, very different physique from pretty much everybody else, like, the only guy he can compare to is probably Samson Dauda, but, you know, Andrew is even, even freakier, even more cartoonish, like, um, he has better, nicer lines, like, more aesthetic of physique, however, he lacks that, that thickness that Samson has, so, I still have Samson ahead of Andrew, but uh, this is very, very impressive, once we see, if he nails it, like, last year at the Mr. Olympia, he didn't nail it, he was off, if he nails it for the Mr. Olympia the way he did here, or let's say he comes in a little bit better even, then maybe it's gonna be a different story once we see them uh, one next to another compared. So it's gonna be a very, very interesting Mr. Olympia with the addition of Andrew Jack, uh, who is definitely coming improved. Whatever you guys think about this version of Andrew Jack, tell me down below where do you see him at a Mr. Olympia? 
And do you think he's winning Texas Pro? I'm joking about that one. Of course, he's winning. I honestly hope he's gonna jump into some other shows before the Mr. Olympia. I mean, what is the point of him doing this show? It's a it's super easy qualification. If that's what he wanted, sure. But he is like very, very good, super ready right now to just waste this conditioning. I would do a couple more shows, like maybe Italy, like UK. We'll see what his plan is, but uh, yeah, he's definitely bringing something pretty crazy, pretty nuts. If he wants to do the Italy Pro or like UK, he's gonna prevent some guys, like some really big names from um, qualifying. I don't think Hunter Labrada can beat this. But whatever your thoughts are, guys, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.